I love the option C. Which American writer published A Brave and Startling Truth in 1996? Option A. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Option B. Edgar Allan Poe. Option C. Mark Twain. And option D. Maya Angelou. And the answer of this question is option D. Maya Angelou. Trilus and Chrysidae by Chaucer shows the great influence of Philostarto by option A. Dante, option B. D. Loris, option C. D. Meun, option D. Boccaccio. And the answer of this question is option D. Boccaccio. The Norman conquest of England in the Battle of Hastings is an important landmark in the history of English literature. It occurred in the year option A 1066, option B 1076, option C 1065 and option D 1075. And the answer is option A, 1066. Beowulf, the only important piece of the literature surviving since the Old English period, is a an A. Lyrical Ballad B. Prose Narrative C. Anglo-Saxon Epic and D. Classical Epic And the answer is option C Anglo Saxon Epic. Which of the following statement is incorrect regarding medieval literature? Option A Allegory was frequent and usual. Option B The dream vision convention was prevalent. Option C Chaucer exploited the dream vision convention in the Counterbury Tales. And option D there was often an undercurrent of moral and dialectic strain. And the answer of this question is option C. Chaucer exploited the Dream Vision Convention in the Counterbury Tales. Who has remarked that Chaucer found English a dialect and left it a language? Option A. Ligois. Option B. Haddo. Option C. Lang. And option D. Lowell. And the answer of this question is option D. Lowell. The rhyme royal which Chaucer so effectively used in Trilus and Cressidae in arranged in stanzas consisting 10 syllabic line and having option A 7 line in each stanza option B 5 line in each stanza option C 8 line in each stanza and option D 9 line in each stanza and the answer of this question is option A 7 line in each stanza which of the following works of Chaucer contains passages that have been directly taken from Dante? Option A. The House of Fame. Option B. The Parliament of Fowls. Option C. The Counterbury Tales. And Option D. Legion of Good Women. And the answer of this question is Option B. The Parliament of Fowls. There were three important medieval institutions. Which of the following was not one of them? Option A. Federalism. Option B. Chivalry or Knight Errantry. Option C. The Church. And Option D. Slavery.
and the answer of this question is option D slavery in prologue and counterbury tales Chaucer employed the option A octave rhyme option B rhyme royal option C heroic couplet and option D both A and C And the answer is option C, heroic couplet.